Great, so today you're gonna to be learning three tips on how to learn a song for beginners. So the first one is gonna be how to pick the right song for you. Um, the second thing is gonna be how to break down the sections of the song so you can learn them quickly and remember them. And the third one is gonna be how to make the song sound great when you're singing it as a beginner. Some tips. So I'm really looking forward to walking you through that today. So welcome to another video. I'm Angie Caldwell and our school is Unlock Your Voice. We're passionate about helping you unlock your voice. Thank you so much for your support and your likes and your comments and for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed before, click the link below if you'd like some more training. Um, we're passionate about giving free training out so that you can learn to sing with confidence and love your voice. People don't realize it just takes a few simple keys for things to get so much easier. Um, also, if you want to learn in depth and really start to unlock the potential of your voice, we also have a course that we've created for you, really affordable. So click the link below and you can have a look at that as well. So let's get into it. I'm really excited. Let's dive right in and get into our um, how to sing a song today for beginners. So first of all, let's pick a song. I've picked a song, I've picked um, an easy one for you, which is going to be Fix You by Coldplay. Um, now the reason I've picked that is it's got a really short range. For beginners, you want to be able to pick a song that isn't so crazy that it's impossible. And so what we do is we pick one that's got a smaller range, that's got a nice easy melody, so that you can just start to track it, so you're getting consistency of tone. So it isn't like, and I fix and things are disappearing. So we want to create that consistency and flow. So we're going to give you a few tips on how to do that today. So you'll actually notice, here's a list of songs we suggest for beginners that keeps it in a nice small range while you're just learning to make a, sound, a song sound even and consistent and not crap. Most of our students and our comments are, you know, help me sound less crap. <laughs> end up look 80% of people just want to sound less crap and then there's 10% of you that really actually want to nail it and then 10% of you that want to go professional and all these things help with all of you but this one is for our beginners um, and we find these tools just work over and over so let's get into it so we've got the song fix you um, and here's a list of ones that have kind of got a nice small range um, the other thing you need to know when you're learning a song is there's a reason why some songs you find really easy and some songs you feel like you crap out or is impossible and it's because of where the song is sitting on your voice. So for some of you, you might find, for women, you might find that a guy key, all the guy songs feel easier for you and for a man you might find female songs feel easier for you if you're a beginner. That's because of the range it's sitting in, is sitting where your voice sits. Men's and voice, women's voices are in two different places. So um, it's natural for one to feel difficult and one not to. And that's why sometimes you'll just hit a song and go, oh my goodness, this sounds great. And then you'll hit another one and go, I'm crap. You're not actually crap. You're just the songs in a different key to where you are singing at the moment. Even professional artists, like your favorite artists would never sing a song in someone else's key. They always will pay someone to get it in the key that brings their voice alive. But then amateurs, you know, people that are learning think I should be able to sing in everyone else's key. It's not the case. So don't think that you're crap. And even if you feel like you're lost in the melody line when you're listening to a song, it could be because it's in a different spot in your voice and you can't find that start point. And you can learn how to do that too. But today we're gonna to talk about how to break down and learn a song for beginners. Now what I suggest is always the first one, uh, we're gonna learn the song with, um, we're gonna break down those sections of the song Okay, so I'm going to give an example of an Adele song. Let's go with, um, I heard that you settled down, that you found a girl and you're married now. Now, one of the really important things when you're doing a song is not to oversing. So you're learning a song for beginners. One thing you don't want to do, which most people do, is that they're singing in an empty room and they're mimicking someone that's on a recording um, with 16 layers of melody. So Adele's got 16 layers of melody on there that's very full. But if she was on a mic, she wouldn't be singing, I heard, she'd be going, I heard that you 
settled down that you found the girl and you're married now. I mean, if I sing that off mic like that, I heard that you settle down that you so one thing you don't want to do when you're learning a song is sing loud and push it to try and make it sound like the recording so one thing i do to help with that is i do a thing called in ears so if you want to just quickly pop your ears in like this so you want to make sure the flesh is down and you're kind of just creating a cone so you can hear the sound off your face I heard that you've settled down, that you've... Now have a little play with that. Just get your ears in, have a little sing. Um, if you've got a song that you want to learn, I'd advise you pause now, go grab the song, come back. Um, having the lyrics would be helpful um, so that you can start to write down the bits that you want to learn. Um, but initially the big key is to be singing either in a bathroom, on a microphone, or with your ears in like this so that you're not over singing. If you're trying to force those notes to make them sound full like the recording, 90% of my clients, that's the biggest issue. They come in trying to sing too loud or force the sound out. And I know there are a lot of tutorials out there where teachers are going, sing really loud. But for 90% of beginners, we've got too much going on trying to learn how to sing.